turned out, by the way. Yeah, they turned out good. All Is right. your email supposed to be up there? Did you um, mute YouTube? Are you on YouTube at all? I'm not, but I'll go do that. Is your email supposed to be up there? I guess. Okay, just I'm mute YouTube. Are you I'm there? I'm muting now. We're not even out. on your channel, so let me go over there. There's quite a lag. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh no, now I'm frozen. That's always good. Oh no, there we go. Hello, oh, everyone. I really I hope it remains clear. Okay, so there might be a noise for a second. Will I click on the video? All right. Which I did wrong. Nothing like a proper echo. Close that. I'm having issues, man. Hi, Amanda. Well, it's been so long since we went live. We're bound to have some issues. There we go. Hi, Amanda. How are you? All right. Are you all settled? I think so. I'm on. I'm on YouTube. All right. I'm going to give us a share. Should I be looking on YouTube or here in StreamYard? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> and so it begins. Yes. We're what? back. Oh, we're trying to be. Oh, good. Am I clear for a minute, Amanda? I never know how that's going to go. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Kim, you look so uber clear to me on YouTube. And I, of course. No, you look good on YouTube. <sighs> you know what you need is a brighter light. You think so? Is that what I need? A brighter light? Yeah, and I my That's camera sweet. is going in and out because it's I can't get into my settings for my camera and it's gonna be like auto focusing, unfortunately. I mean I do have my lamp sitting back on my desk because I have my camera right here. <clears throat> well, hello! Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Sarita. All right, so. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. You're pretty clear on YouTube. Well, I have the shadow because I put my light in a weird spot because I wanted to have room for all the things. So the light is too far away, probably. And I've got my camera in front of it. I've got my sewing machine because I wanted to do a little sewing. And then I've got like... I lit a candle because I am about lighting the candles lately, but I'm getting ready to pull out bags of snippets. So maybe I shouldn't blow the candle. Um, yeah, that's a little worrying. <laughs> we don't want any live fires. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to keep the show exciting. Oh, we can do that all on our own. <laughs> We're excited enough. Mm. So today we are going to play with snippets, which is just absolutely my favorite thing. Yes. It's my favorite. Everybody favorite. loves the snippets. Right. The snippets are amazing. So I was going to just show you some examples of some snippet things that I've done, but I have to look on StreamYard. Yeah, go ahead. To show the things. Because there's such a lag. If I Make me smaller. If I'm looking at YouTube, then I'm all discombobulated. Don't be discombobulated. So this is a little snippet tag that I made. Ugh. It's gorgeous. Hi, Sarah. It's so I'm so glad to have you here. Hi, Sarah. This is what I do every night is I sew, I hand sew snippet things. So I made that. This is the one I'm working on right now. It's a snippet roll that I'm trying to do all in just whites and creams. You're the queen of the snippet rolls. And I love some snippet rolls. So right now I'm in the middle of sewing. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Rhinestone trim. Does the store still have rhinestone trim? Just sold out of it, but it's coming back in. So That's keep an eye out for it. This is my favorite thing. And it's so easy to sew on. I yeah, absolutely. Love. Well, hand sew. Don't try to machine sew that. You'd be I'm going to try and get it in pink this time, too. Yes, please. Yeah, I knew you'd like that idea. Mm -hmm. So those are a couple of snippet things that I've hand sewn. But I also wanted to show you something else that I like to do with fabric snippets. 
is I like to make my own fabric using fabric, snippets of fabric. So let me try to put that up. So I just take all the little snippets and I sew them all together and I made a bag. I've been making bags for my Etsy orders. So I've been sending out oh. all my Etsy orders. These oh, I love that fabric. fabric. Right? Made that is so pretty. I love the way these turned out. So I just wanted to show you real quick because I'm not going to make these today, but I wanted to show you how easy it is. Yep. I just lay pieces on a base. So I just pick this old sheet that I cut up and I start laying the fabric out where I want it. And then I just tack down a stitch to hold them in place. Yeah. Hi, That's Angie. Great. Hi, Angie. So they're all in place. And then I'm going to zigzag stitch around all the edges. And then it's a fabric you can do whatever you want with. So I'm loving these. This is another bag I'm making for my shop. I love those. Oh, where is that? I made, I'm in the process of making some blessing pillows. And I made them. Um, by creating the fabric and then putting the pillows together. So these are um, a couple of little blessing pillows I'm creating for my Etsy shop. Don't you love that elephant image? It's my favorite. Yes. And it's so pretty with this fabric. I just love it. Oh, that's so cute. So I am all about making fabric with the fabric snippets or fabric scraps. One big wish. hello to you too, Angie. Right, it's been so long. Oh my gosh, if you had to guess, when was the last time that we were live? Oh gosh, yeah. seven, eight months ago? Because I haven't even done a video for like three or four months. <laughs> Since last year, I haven't done a video, so. Lacking. So I want you to see the gorgeous snippets on Kim's channel, on Kim's desk. I'm loving these words. Well, these were just words that were on fabric um and it was a fabric that i wouldn't have used but it had all these words on it so i decided to cut all the words off and they were in like paragraphs and things like that so i just cut you know words like joy and seek why still heart earth i love it you know and all I did was take, <clears throat> excuse me, a piece of muslin. And then I just layered like little tiny snippets of lace. And this is a very old tool from the underskirt of a very old wedding dress. Um, little bits of lace. And then I just sewed the word down on my machine. That's it. So cute. And so I have a bunch of those. And then this was a placemat. And I just cut it into two tag shapes. Brilliant. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using these words on here. So cute. And snippets. And maybe I'll make a sentence with some of them. Who knows? Like wise soul might be nice. Oh, I like it. You know? Super cute. I like this earth one because it has this pretty fabric on it. So I might do that. So I want to thank you all for being here. Please give us a thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get since we have. Yes. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'll see. At least seven months. I feel like it's been a year. So I did prep a little bit um, for today. This morning I had a little bit of time. And the reason I'm not live or making a lot of videos is because I work full time. And I don't, that wears a girl out. Yes, it does. So, but I'm laid off um, for five weeks. And so I plan on doing a lot of creating in that time. And, you know, it's great because I'll get to see you, but then I'll feel all spoiled. And then you'll be going back to work and then I will miss you. It'll be tough times. I know. And then July starts busy season. So July and August, you, nobody else. You know, I think every season is busy season because, you know, you say that in the fall. No, this is busy season. Didn't you just have busy season? And then, you know, over the holidays, it's busy season. You know, it's always busy season there. Well, that's true. All right. It's always busy season. Yes. But in July and August, it's busier than ever. And so I, I don't, I barely sleep. 
talk to Ooh, I have diamond dust. Yes, to diamond dust. Okay, so I wanted to show you these real quick. Uh, I show you the, these to you all the time because I love them. They're from My Porch Prints. I should have put a link below and I didn't. I'm sorry. It is the, uh, I forget what they're even called. Are they called definitions? Definition words? I don't remember. They could be definitions, yeah. Dictionary words, maybe. Anyway, I print them out on fabric. And then um, I sew them down to another piece of fabric because the, the fabric that you print stuff onto that goes through your printer, it's so thin. It's really just too thin for me to work with. So I like to sew it down to another um, piece of fabric. And so I just, so, well, let's see if you can, maybe if I do the one that's not, you can see where I've sewed it. So I sew around each one. And that way, and then I'll just cut them out as I want to use them. I'll cut them out. I won't cut them out all, you know, and leave them in a pile because I didn't zigzag stitch and I didn't lock every stitch. So I'm just going to cut them out as I want to use them and they'll be fine. So I just fold them down. I love So I got those ready. And also if you print on fabric, the fabric sheets, right? I get mine on Amazon which there's a link to my Amazon shop below and you can find them there. There's always extra, like I don't always fill the page. I try to, unless I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I have leftover um, sheets. So I just stamped out some things with some archival ink and then I can just cut these out and peel the back off and use them on snippet tags or whatever too. So I try not to waste. So I'm going to, um, I've got this here of an old sheet I cut up, and I am going to sew a bunch of just bits. Uh, so I have a whole bag of bits. Cool. Yay! I'm going to sew those down. So I, And then I will cut that um, and make tags out of it. I might make some clips. Like, this is a clip. I think Angie C. made this one, but isn't it cute? It's like a little snippet clip. It is, yeah. And I have some more of these, so I might make some of these too. Make some snippet clips, make some tags. I have a little yo-yo flower you made in my snippets. Aww, it's so cute. It is cute. All right, now I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. They're little eggs. Oh, that's why you were talking about eggs. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't know if it's made of wood or what it is. It's not plastic. I think it's wood. But I was wondering about decorating it with snippets. Well, you could do that. So I might give it a try. I have some ideas about that. So I just figured we'd just snip it all the things today. Just snip it I'm all. I'm going to use pink. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, the tag kind of lends itself to pink. Well, uh, yeah. I need to trim that a lot better. And I have my um, hot tea. I'm drinking some decaffeinated chai. Mm. Right. Because I'm doing a cleanse this week. So I'm just trying to get Me through. Me too. It's called the French fry cleanse. <laughs> You're not right. I can't, I can't have potatoes for seven days, rude. No, that's just, no. No. I could but, do your cleanse and your diet that you were doing. It all sounded great. But when you told me I had to give up potatoes, I was like, no. <laughs> Deal well, the, breaker. The night before we started the cleanse, we had potatoes. All right. Just mm -hmm. so. I had potatoes and I even put how I made them on my um, Instagram reel. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Well, how did you make them? Do tell. Well, my kid's grandma gave me this microwave potato recipe back in the day. All right. Right. And like I miss them because they're so yummy. So I was like, how can I clean these potatoes up and make them in the oven and get the same effect? All right but to my dietary needs. So you, I have like chopped up five potatoes and put them in a casserole dish, chopped up an onion, put it in with the potatoes, 
peeled a bunch of garlic cloves because me and my husband just want to eat garlic, honestly. Put them in there. I don't chop them up. I leave the cloves whole because yum. And then I drizzle it with olive oil. Right. Good olive oil soaking. You could use butter, but I'm allergic to dairy, so butter doesn't work for me. And also that lace, that lace right there, that one. Yes, that beautiful, beautiful lace. Where is there more of this? Um, not at the moment, and I don't know if I can get it, but I will try because, yeah, I know it was in the snippet bag you sent me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, that's the nice lace. We like that lace. We love that lace. Okay, sorry. So I will, I promise you, when I do my shop for the store this week, I will look that up. Beautiful laces distract me. It's like a squirrel, a dog with a squirrel. It kind of is. Right. So anyway, you just bake all that yumminess for about 45 minutes, stir it every 15 minutes. It's so good. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite. So in about a week, I'll be revisiting that potato recipe. Okay, right. I think I know what I'll do. Well, that's just kind of what I'll do. We're just going to layer, layer, layer. I still have like a blank strip of fabric over here. I'm going to start pulling out some snippeties. I love snippeties. Snippeties. And you know, one of the best sellers in the Etsy shop is the snippets. The lace snippet bag, the little snippet stitchery kit, the, um, the fabric remnant snippets. Like, you know, anything to do with snippets. I... Love snippets. I have at least oh, I put that four on bags please. of snippets. Yeah. I mean, because you know, and I, I put I my shove, legs on backwards. I I shove a bunch of stuff in that I want to make into little snippets, and then I never have time to cut it up. So I'm gonna have to cut up some stuff too. Sorry about that. I'm not prepared. I tell you. Well, who is really? I'm never prepared for videos. Never? No. Not really. Some strips. Ooh, some yummy. Um, and I'm using this piece of quilt that was in the Amy Love snippet bag. Nice. Nobody else was privy to that sale. <laughs> no, they weren't. That was a friends only. Besties only sales for uh, uh, an audience of two. Yes. And you. So three people all together. Speaking of which, where is our other sidekick? Is she listening from work? I'm going to assume she is because she messaged me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to assume she's lurking around there somewhere. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Probably has her headphones on. <laughs> oh. Here goes my dog. Thanks, Sarah. Maybe Mary will pop in the chat and just let us know she's there. I'm going to leave it on you for a minute while I see why my dog's freaking out. Okay. So I'm just starting to layer. Um, like I said, these are all little snippet pieces that I'm using. I do have like doilies, but I'm probably going to cut them up because that one's kind of big. But I do have smaller ones and I have like bridal trim that I can use little pieces of. So before I put the words on, because I want the words to be on top, we're going to do the background first. Which I kind of love that. And the thing with these type of snippet tags is there she is. There's Mary. I knew you were there, Mary. <laughs> Mary's always there. Doing payroll? Oh my goodness, Mary. I'm so sorry. Yes, Mary's our other... Mary, our, there she our is. Our other buddy buddy. There See, we knew is. she was there. Oh, I'm sorry you're doing payroll. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm more sorry that you have to deal with it. 
Yeah. So I don't have any idea what he's freaking out about. So hopefully. Well, he's, just... he's a dog, you know. Hopefully that's what they do. Freaking out. That's how they roll. Well, that's how he rolls. For sure. Yeah. We'll put this one on this side, maybe. I just want to layer like little bits everywhere and then put the words on top, I think. Yes. That's what I'm feeling. That works for me. That feels right. I'm just sorry I didn't have these cut up yet. <laughs> you know funny. how when you're watching YouTube and weird stuff shows up in your feed? Like what? What do you say? What? You know, just sometimes weird videos show up in your feed just for whatever reason. You're like, why did that show up kind of thing? Yeah. Well, for some weird reason, this show called, I think it's called Inked. Yeah. With Dave Navarro, which made me think of you. I know. I know. I knew you would do that when I said his name. But anyway, okay. so it made me think of you automatically. Um, maybe that's why it showed up in my feed. Maybe. Okay. So anyway, um, so I've been stuck watching this show. It's about like tattoos, right? Yeah. Obviously by the name. And I've been stuck watching it. I can't stop watching it now. Yeah. I was going to say, what do you mean by you're stuck watching it? Well, it's good, I guess, but gosh, it really makes you want to get tattoos. Girl. Yes. Same. I want to cut that. Well, if you got a tattoo, what would you get? Oh my gosh, so many things. So many things. I was thinking about that this morning. I would probably get my son's name in like really fancy script along my arm here. Aww. Like really right here. I would get his name, I think. And then I'd like a D on my ring finger for the Dougal. The Dougal. And I would like a raven. Oh, the list is long, isn't it? And I would also like a little portrait of my cat, Mooney, with his name and script underneath it. Oh, so So there's several that I would like. Yeah. Doug doesn't want me to get any. Ooh, Chuck feels the same way. I mean, I've got... But when my it. son comes back, we've already discussed me getting a tattoo, and he said he would take me. So we might get, like, similar tattoos, my son and I. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Well, and because he got his mom tattoo, I was thinking it'd be nice for me to have his name on my arm. Well, do you have more of this Clooney lace, by the way? Because I'm in love with it, for one. What did you say? This Clooney lace. Um, hang on, let me, I'm over on, uh, no, we're out of that, but I do have other Clooney lace. I love the Clooney laces, and I only have a little bit, a, what, a foot of this left, but I need Yeah, more. I'll try and get more. Um, yes, please. As I mentioned earlier, before we were live, I'm going to try and, uh, place an order with that lady. She's in England. <sighs> All right, so I'm making a pile of snippets that I'm going to want to sew um, down. My but what I really want is some tulle, I think. I'm going to get out some tulle and some fibers because, please, let's put the fibers on. I'm about putting the fibers on. I have a tiny bit of rhinestone chain, but that's all I have left. This is all I got out of the store. <laughs> Rich, is it okay if I put a link to the store in, Amy? Um, would you please? Okay, hang on. Let, me, let me get there. And is there a way that I can like pin that somewhere? somewhere? Um, I don't know. You know, I really don't know why it says my email instead of the name of my channel. Isn't that weird? You have to type it in when you go in. To, oh. Um. To StreamYard. Okay, this is the link to the Etsy shop where you can get all these beautiful laces. Woohoo! And I have lots of dangles, and there's more coming. I can oh, pin. I can pin this message. So where does it get pinned at? Message pinned. Okay, so where is it? Oh, you, okay. go, you pinned it. You pinned it. Well done, you. 
Look at me learning something. You did oh. good. You did real good there, girl. <laughs> you done good. I can't Ooh, if I put that there, I could put the rhinestone chain across did it. Do I have any little yeah. thread? I could maybe sew that. I found the cheesecloth. Ooh, that might look pretty. Let's cut some of this here brattle trim. Is this from that antique dress that you have? No, my oh. aunt's dress? No. Yeah. No? I'm sorry to say it is not. Oh. I thought I sent you some of my aunt's dress, though. No, you didn't. Well, that was rude. Are you going to be selling any of that? I don't know. I did tea dye some of it. It's freaking so pretty. Let me show it to you. Let me show you the, the one I the tea dye. Okay, okay, okay. It's so pretty. Doug. So yeah, I cut off of, of the veil oh, no, that no, I dyed no, it. No, no, no. That's Dougal, everyone. Hang on, let me click on StreamYard. <gasps> That's gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love it so much. That's the right way. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I have a nice big chunk of tea dyed vintage wedding dress here. Cool. Love it. Hi, Lene. How are you? Oh, Lene. Hi. How are you? So good to see you. It's been too long since I've seen everybody. Uh, me too. Yes. Although I did run into Lene. Yeah, was it yesterday? Was the sale at Ivy's? I don't remember. The days oh, all just came together. <laughs> Did you buy anything? You know what? I didn't buy anything because I couldn't stay the whole time. Plus, shipping from the UK might be a little. Well, Sierra was on with her, so um, and I buy from Sierra a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but uh, no, I didn't that day. All right, so I'm also going to cut up some strips of tulle to use for the snippets. Oh, was that Sunday? See, the days are all running together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you messaged me to go, but I just didn't get there. Yeah. So I'm having a nice okay. big pile of beautiful snippets to play with here. I might put your yo-yo on here and put a nice big old bling. Ooh. I have a gold bling somewhere, probably in here, that I'm going to have to dig through this little bucket of bits. All right, Should so now I'm, bucket of bits. I'm going to turn this pile of yumminess into a strip of yumminess. Well, as long as it's yumminess. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use, uh, I'm probably not going to sew all over. It, I'm just gonna sew like right, just right down the middle to hold everything down for me. Ooh, I would glue it, but I like to hand sew um, the bits on, and that is a struggle when you glued it instead of sewed it. So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna... hmm, maybe I won't. I might save that for the other one. I'm trying to put my camera where you can see it, maybe coming through. How cute it's gonna be! Yeah. Yeah. So let's do this. Dougal's here if you hear a male voice in the background. You're not? Okay. You're He's not, not here. <laughs> He's not here. Abril! Hi, honey! Hi, Abril. How are you? Gosh, you guys. It's so good to see everyone. Oh, it's been so long. It's just been too, too just too long. But I, mean, I feel like it's been years, but it hasn't. <laughs> it does it does feel like that, however. I need to trim that a bit more. Maybe I'm just going to tuck some tool in there. And some strips of lace. And this is usually how I do my snippet roll base. I just keep tucking fabric and lace and strips of snippets all up in there. Yeah. That's Debbie! The layering and layering. Hi, Debbie. Debbie. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
Now, usually when I'm doing them, like when I make my <coughs> snippet ribbon that I sell in my shop, I do a zigzag stitch all the way down the middle so you can cut it wherever you want. It won't fall apart. But because I know I'm going to hand sew a bunch of stuff all over this, I'm going to save a little thread and just do a straight stitch down the middle. At least that's what I'm thinking. Do it, girl. Sounds right to me. Although I'm going to try to not sew my hair in there. Hi, April. Hi, April. How are you? Do us all a favor and take my hair out of it. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's an old lace from my stash that I had years ago. And I don't know if some of you oldies like Amy and I. And I don't mean old in a bad way. Right? I mean, I've been I was around like, the YouTube cooler for a while. Oh. Well, remember a store called Lavish Laces? Um, that's where I got that from. And this is like the last little dregs of it. I've never seen it, so I don't know if I can get it. I have a tiny piece left. That's it. Grandma but Duty, yeah. it's the best of real. I love it. Hey for Grandma Duty. It's very, very pretty, Ken. Yeah, we're excited to be crafting together because it's been a long time for us, too. Yes. Like, we talk all the time and everything, but, you know, because of Amy's work schedule and I've been busy with the store and it's just, we just haven't been, you know. We haven't had time to play. No. So I would like to do an art journal day, maybe. If Amy's uh, uh, I'm going to say that means no. Well, I'm not against it because I do love to art journal. I just hate to commit to it. Right. <laughs> commitment issues. That's what that's about. Oh, I do have a little snippety heart. Yes. Oh, that snippety might look cute. Hearts. All right. Speaking of being on YouTube forever. Mm-hmm. I'm almost embarrassed to say how long I've been on YouTube, but I am excited to say that I finally reached 6,000 subscribers. Me too. It took forever. It sure did. It took we both did it. Us forever. Yep. Yeah, that happened. I mean, I'm excited about it because you're like, you know, you're at the milestone and you're like, oh, cool. Yes you know, a decade later, whatever. Right. I mean, how long have I been on since 2012? I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Me too. I also started YouTube in 2012. Now, mind you, I haven't been cons consistent that whole time, but pretty much. Yeah. I haven't been consistent either. I went for like a year that I wasn't even on YouTube. And then I came back because a certain someone kind of, <clears throat> pushed me into coming back shall we say <laughs> is, is that the story you're going with okay well that would be you <laughs> <laughs> you don't say uh well you know we're feeling good we're happy to be back and crafting together oh for sure you and know? i I'm want to that. say i am going to have a giveaway to mark the milestone and I already have some great friends who are donating some fantastic prizes. And who are they? Oh, I'm very excited. Well, one of them is my bestie who owns a shop <gasps> that sells you? laces. No, that's my me. That's me. That's me. That's me. So excited. And um, my uh, dear friend, Abby whom I always want to say Scrap and Abby, but it is no longer Scrap and Abby. It's Purple Cottage Crafts is the name of her channel. She right. is donating an absolutely beautiful prize too. Ooh. Do you get to know what it is? No. <gasps> oh, that's cruel. Right? Oh. Mean. Mean. Lene, I have to tell you, I see your question. And if it was up to Kim, we would have four sales a year. That's true. But it wears me out. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of work. 
these ladies who do sales like every week or every month, like, whoa, you guys, I can't even, I can't. It is so exhausting to me. Yeah, it's a lot of work. You know, it's exhausting to me too. Oh, it's so much work. But yes, we have managed to do one a year. <laughs> I think is what we. It's well, what I we think should. we did two last year. No way, did we? Yeah, and I think the year before we might have done three. No. But, well, that's yeah. just insane. <laughs> what word should I use? So I'm sure there will be a sale this year. I'm sure of it. I don't know when it when. I can tell you it won't be in June, July, or August for sure. Because that's busy season. Uh huh. <laughs> it's sure. busy season. Okay. Right. Now I'm debating on whether I like this lace on here. I think I like the smaller one better. So we're going to change it. Off it comes. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I like this one better. The it's quicker you catch those mistakes, the easier it is to get it off. It's dainty. Oh, no, Debbie, I hope everything's okay. Oh, yeah. Don't be burning stuff now. No, I. speaking of, I did blow my candle out because I know how clumsy I am. I have no comment to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how it's coming out. I don't know if you guys can see. It's so pretty. But see, I still have to get because I'm just doing the sewing down the middle. Oh, your snippet rolls are always beautiful. I I love the snippets. And it's just so quick and easy to do a strip through the sewing machine real quick. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So let's talk about who inspires our snippet game present uh, company excluded. Oh, well then I got nothing. <laughs> you're the one who, no, seriously. You're the one who inspires my snippet game. Uh, thanks, man. But it's true. Well, can we just talk a minute about your snippet flowers of which I have one right here and which she sells in the shop. I do. Yeah. I and love there are big sellers in the store. And even though I am a snippet girl, I snippet everything. For whatever reason, I struggle with making these. So luckily, I can really? just buy them from Kim. <laughs> you just kind of put a bunch of stuff down, glue it all together, and put some bling in the middle. Yes, you've mentioned that. And but, you got the bows, because I know you like a bow. But I just can't seem to grasp it. I don't know. I think I'm going to put Seek Joy on this one, because I like that. And again, for those who were late, these words came off some fabric that I had that had like paragraph writing on it that I knew that I wouldn't use, like long paragraphs and things. And I knew I wouldn't use it. So I just cut out some of the words on the fabric. So if you don't have a printer, this is a great way to look at your fabric and recycle it for whatever, for this type of thing. And then I just layered um, some muslin, some tulle, little bits and bobs of lace snippets, and they came out like this. And yet yeah, the snippet flowers are in Kim's shop. Yes, they are. I can't. And I can do them in any color. If you if you see a color that I don't have, then just message me because I yeah. can make them in any color. Next time I am going to order um, a neutrals. Yeah, I have listed pink and white, beige and white, like a darker beige, brown, white, like an ecru and white, and then a white and off-white ivory. Yes to all of that. I want this to look like, you know, it came from grandma's shabby chic cottage. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So it's coming along i love it i feel like that should be an, a youtube name somebody needs to have that youtube channel grandma shabby cottage yeah is that already out there i don't know grandma I shabby know. cottage it should be i love it okay this is just it takes me a long time to do snippets because i'm always like should i do this should i do that and then i'm putting it on and taking it off and putting it on and taking it off you know it's a good time. Hmm. 
Ooh, I'm almost to the end of that here on the back. <clears throat> Because I do want to decorate the back. Because you got to do the back, yeah. right? And I want you to know that she makes those snippet flowers to order. Yeah. So I know what you're going to be doing later because Lene's on her way over there. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I just want to show you how beautifully shabby this is. I just sewed on strips. Look at how pretty it is. I love it. I love your snippet rolls. So gorgeous. So what They're I'm going to so do good. now is I'm going to put, um, I have one going down the middle. Um, I sewed a line down the middle. I'm going to sew a line uh, on each side of that middle line just to hold everything down. But that is when I'm going to add some stuff on top of this. So I'm going to add stuff like these fibers and these fibers and some um, cheesecloth just on top of what's already here. Okay, it just makes me so happy. We're just gonna do it. I could do this all day. Sometimes I do. <laughs> this is what I do. Yeah, sometimes you do. That's true. Just sew the strips down. And when you're using snippets, you can use any like piece that doesn't have to be cut straight. Like this piece here I just put down was just sitting on my table and it's a very irregular shape. It's, you know, cut kind of ragged, but it worked in that spot um, because for me, when I use snippets, I like to layer and layer and layer. Yes. And the snippets that are laying on your desk are always the best one. That's true. Nutty Angie Crafter. I love it, Angie. <laughs> Angie's got her YouTube name all picked out. Nutty Angie Crafter. Is that what you said? Yep. Nutty <laughs> <Angie>. <laughs> That's a great name, Angie. Okay, so we're working on it here. We're doing it. Get it done. Oh, you know what else would be pretty on here is some of my little pink ribbon roses that I have in the store. Yes. Do you still have some? I just got some new ones in. They're a dusty pink. They're way nicer than I think than the ones I had last time. What? Let's see. Let's see. Girl, let me find them. Quit holding out. Because the other ones were like a bright pink. This is more right. like a soft, dusty pink. All right. Let me just go ahead and make you bigger right now. Oh, they almost look peachy on the screen. Yeah, they're they're a dusty pink. It's my light that's making okay. them look more yellow, but they're not peach. Them. They're a dusty pink. I'm and they're like little rosebuds. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. And they go perfectly. I think I'm gonna put some along the bottom here. Right there, like that there. Love it. We'll put three there. And you get 10 in a package. Okay, that is on uh, next on my list. Oh, shower. I was um, stocking the store the other day. Did you see all the stuff I liked? I, was like, I did, yeah. <gasps> It's like I haven't been over here in a while. Wait till you see some of the new laces that are coming. Mm -mm -mm. When, when are they coming? Whenever they get here. Well, you know there's that. I am at the mercy of the mail. Yeah, me too. You know, I mailed something to Ottawa, which is not that far from me. I know you guys are American. You won't know how far that is for me, but um, it's about a four-hour drive. Wow. And so it's not that far by mail. And uh, it took over a week to get there. Ah, uh, it's like what? And it cost 20 bucks. And it was not a big package. My goodness. Yeah, shipping within Canada is just nuts. Let's see. What do we have that I can put on here? 
Oh, I have a little fairy charm. These used to be in the store, but I have other charms in the store now. Okay, I was going to say, because I'm getting ready to use some of those too, I think, those fairy charms. Yeah, I do have other charms in the store, though. Ooh, that would be cute, too. I have all the bulb pins in the store as well. I have them in pink. I have them in um, silver, maybe black. I can't remember. I cannot remember. Oh, I was getting ready to shout out um, Trace of Sparkle because Jennifer's snippet game in, is inspiring to me. I don't know if you guys have seen the latest things that she did. I'm sure you have. They're like giant, giant snippet clusters, and they are beautiful. Oh, wow. Cool. They are absolutely beautiful. Plus, when she was doing her video, she was at the beach, so you can hear the ocean in the background. It's so nice. soothing. I'm like, pretty laces and the ocean. Yes, yes. Yes, yes do you want. Yeah. I love her snippet game. It's beautiful. <laughs> and also, Roseanne. Yes, Roseanne is the snippet queen. For sure. I love her work. I love to watch her just do her thing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, no, I think I'm out of eyelash trim. I'm going to have to dig out some more eyelash trim. Okay. All right, so let's go around. I'm adding the... I'm sewing down this side and I'm adding fibers and cheesecloth as I go. Oh, it's just so cute, yo. So cute. If I do say I so much. I also have in the store some very cool, I don't know where they are. They're, well, they're probably in the box with the store stuff. But anyway, you'll see them when you go over there. Um, eight vintage, it's a set of eight vintage Canadian military buttons and they're gold um, plated. I love those. I have I have some somewhere. What did I no, I used them. Do you um, remember they're beautiful buttons? Yes. Do you remember that like steampunkish neck cuff I made? Yes. I used those buttons on it because they're fabulous. Awesome. Yeah, I love those buttons. We're gonna have a bow. This is the last of my vintage seam binding. Oh no, that sounds yeah. like a problem. That's all that's left. Sad. I went to a thrift store a few years back and uh, they had several of the, the looked like this um, seam binding. So it was probably about four years ago, maybe five years ago. It's hard to tell because anything pre pandemic, you're like. You don't remember because it seems like it's been longer than it really has. A lifetime ago, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, and I got a bunch of different colors of it. And I got this beautiful dusty pink, but this is the end of it, unfortunately. Ooh, that's really pretty. You know, it looks almost, almost purpley. Yeah, it looks... but it, it's a very dusty pink. It's so pretty. So we can make a bow. Yes, please. Put it on here. It's so pretty. The big old bow. Get straight. I know you like bows. I do. Everything is better with a bow. Yes. And I have one piece left to make one more bow. Hmm. I don't have any seam binding left. Oh well. I'll just put some of this fuzzy stuff on. You don't have any seam binding? What about what? No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry. I have plenty of seam binding. I don't have any left on the table. Mm. And I'm just pulling scraps from the table at the moment. Yeah. Gotcha. Don't be silly. Of course I have seam binding. Say. There's some things I refuse to do without seam binding one of them. I have seam binding in the store too, but I don't have white and pink yet, but that'll be coming soon. Do you still have some of your hand dyed? Uh, no, because I ran out. It sold out so quickly. And I've been having a hard time finding white seam binding. 
Really? And I finally found some. Well, yeah, because I have to find it to ship to me in Canada, right? right. Otherwise, it's crazy shipping price. And I finally found one on Amazon and I bought it and had it shipped to me. And when I opened the package, it was peacock blue. <laughs> no. Yep. So I still don't have white seam binding. Oh, nice, Sarah. I love that. What happened? This Friday. So, uh, Jen Stevens is going to be selling with her this Friday on your channel. That's awesome. Nice. Right? Yay. So now I'm just going to sew one time down the other side. So it'll just be three straight stitches down the strip that'll be holding everything down. More bling, more bling. Because when I do the fabric, I like everything to be flat. But when I'm doing a snippet roll with all these just snippets, I like it to be all fluffy. Fluffy. You could probably just message her. Linnea, you could message her right through the Etsy store or on Facebook. Or yeah, Facebook. just send me a message on Etsy, Linnea. Yeah. Um, and let me know what you what you're wanting, hun. And I am happy to do it for you, girl. Come on. Okay. Let's work on the back now. And I've got a little pink snippet heart that I made. So I think I'm going to put this on the back. Oh, can you just give me the snippet heart in your hand so I can just see that thing? <gasps> yes to that. I have some pink corduroy. Yeah. And um, I cut out a bunch of hearts. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Yeah. I cut out a bunch of these. You know what I feel like you should do? What should I do? I feel like you should uh, put some of those away for your bestie. And the next time you send her a package, you should plop some of those in it. I can do that. Oh, good. I can do it. Woohoo! Okay, let's get some lacy lace on the back here. I know, Lene. Now I'm excited too. I wish I wasn't laid off for a month so I could go shopping. Right. Ugh. I'm thankful for the downtime. I am. I'm not thankful for the lack of a paycheck, but hey. I'm thankful you're off too. What? For my own selfish reasons. I really should have put this lace down first. What was I thinking? Why do I do that? Well, you know, it's good that you see that I make mistakes. Oh, we all make mistakes. There we go. I got it off. I want to put this down first. Because it's pretty. Which way is up? And then you can still see the pretty flowers coming through. Oh my gosh, I think I'm finally done. Okay, let me move this out of the way and we'll have a look at it. Let me take my camera too. Okay. Excuse me while I adjust. You know, I find I'm crafting a lot slower than I used to. Well, my whole thing is enjoy the process. It's the process that yeah. brings me joy. Yeah. So I'm not trying to hurry up. I used to be like, let's crank out the project, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not as enjoyable. I like to take my time. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed with ideas that I have to do like three or four things just to get them out of my head. Do you ever write them down? Because that is how no. I deal with that. No. That's how that would be sensible. <laughs> well, I have to, right? Because you're like, that is a great idea. Don't forget that. 
because I got to write it down because I cannot have too many projects going on at once or that literally may, it, I, I lose my mojo and, and then I can't finish one. Right. It's too, it's just too much. So this is the yumminess that we are left with. Pretty, pretty. It's so, it's so pretty. It's I gorgeous. Guess. I love it. And now you're going to sew the words on? Now I'm going to sew bits on, like any bits that I want. I have a whole little tchotchkes bowl, I like to call it. My little tchotchkes bowl. It's actually full of Angel Dream Craft tchotchkes. Do you mean the flowers, Lene, or just like pink and beige snippets? Like snippets like these. Without the word, of course, in the colors you want. Or do you mean the flowers? Because I can do both. Right, because she does just sell snippets, too. So she makes the snippet flowers, but she also can put together snippet bags. Hello. Oh, yeah, we got lots of snippet bags happening. Oh, yeah. She knows that. All the snippet bags. Okay, so there, I put that on the back. Okay. I feel like I want to do that. And then, because I don't want to do, go too crazy on the back here. Okay, and that was, oh, I have to go back and look what day that was again now. Friday. Perfect. Friday, because my husband will be at work, right? Because when my husband's home, he'll be, you know, scared I'm going to buy something. <laughs> but Friday. You know, we all got to, you know, just husbands are on a need-to-know basis with craft supplies. <laughs> yes. Heck Yes. That's how we're going to play that. Okay. So my memory. Well, if you've watched for any length of time, you know how bad my memory is. Also Kim's memory. Nope. Is that 8 p.m.? No, no. 8 I'm sure it's morning. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I'm glad you asked. Because Pacific is three hours behind us. And I will be, I turn into a pumpkin at eight o'clock. I'm literally in bed with my eyes shut. Yeah. Cause if that's eight Pacific, that's 11 PM. We'd be sleeping. Right. I'll have to watch with my morning coffee before my husband knows what I'm doing. I'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> well, it'll be 11 AM. Then. Oh, perfect. Yes. 11 AM. It's either 11 AM or 11 PM. It's 11 a.m. So a.m. Okay, that's question, even better. How exactly. are we going to remember? Um, oh Write a note and put it up. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lene. And I'll I'll message you about the uh, the snippets after the live, Lene. We'll sort it out. All right, I just trimmed some of the extra hanging. I think I can come on Friday. Hey, girl, how about I meet you there with coffee? I'll have coffee in me by then, but yes. Well, that's right, because it'll be 11 our time. I can't be having coffee at 11 because I'm on this cleanse. What time can you have coffee? Well, okay, so the cleanse, you're not supposed to have any coffee. But right. my husband and I decided that if we were going to survive this cleanse and remain kind and loving to each other, ourselves, and anybody that we come into contact with, that we're going to have to have the one cup of coffee. Right. So we have the one cup of coffee in the morning, and then I can have all the herbal tea that I want. So. Right. I'll be having. Well, that's coffee. no substitute for coffee. I'm sorry. It's not. You're. No, I have a question. This cheesecloth that was in your little stuff you sent me, is this avocado dyed from you or did you buy it this way or? Because it looks avocado dyed. It's got that peachy pink tone. I you know? say something, but then you know how bad my memory actually is. So I can't be positive, but okay. I think happened was 
I got that in a bag, three bags of beautiful goodies that I purchased from Me Cottage Crafts. What's what's her name? My Cottage Crafts. Yeah. Is that um, what's her name in um, I, Australia? Yes. Jeanette? Absolutely beautiful, talented lady Jeanette. Yes. So I believe that was in one of those bags I bought from her. Oh, that would be great, Sarah, if you'd send a link. That'd be awesome. Um, yes, please. Yeah. A Amy and I share a brain cell. <laughs> Today is neither one of our days, apparently. Uh, right? Yeah, there's that. Okay, I need yeah. to thread a needle, and then I want to start sewing on some bits. So I think I am going to use, maybe I'll glue for a change. I don't know. I'm going to use some of these beautiful fabric, um, these words I printed out on fabric. I'm going to cut off a few that I sewed up this morning. Do it, girl. Do it. Do it. I think I'm going to make some snippet clips. I'm feeling a snippet clip. I need to get some of those clips. I have one here that I started to cover. But I need to get more of these. You now, back in the day, my grandmother used to wear these in her hair when she did her pin curls. Yes. Yes. That's what these are for. Yep. But they make amazing, tiny. amazing clips. Yep. Really amazing. You know, I can't, we don't have any moderators, so I can't put a link to these My Porch Prints in there. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. I just well, I can go find it and put it in. <gasps> have a great day, Amanda. Thank you so much for stopping by, sweetheart. Bye, Amanda. Take care. <clears throat> All right. So there are some of those. These are so cute. These are one of my favorite, favorite things. These little definitions from my porch prints. I love yeah. them. I think they're called dictionary words. For whatever reason, I can never remember what they're called, but I love them. I absolutely love them. If you just go on Etsy and type in my porch prints, it'll probably come up. So I've got some little clips here. Let me get some ribbon because um, I like to cover it with ribbon. Hopefully I have some. Surely I do. Where would I hide it from myself? Over there. I think you're right. Okay, so... I wish I had more of this because it would just be so pretty, but I only have this piece. You have a snippet? Yeah, just this. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. How are you? I have a moderator and she's already popped into my porch prints link. That's because she's what? awesome. Deanna, you're the best. Thank you she's so much. She's awesome. That is fantastic. So that is where I get my little dictionary words that I use over and over and over and over and over again because I love them. Oh, thank you, Abril. So I'm going to use um, some ribbon to cover my uh, little clippy so you don't have to see the metal because you don't need to see that. Nobody, Nobody need to see that? Nobody need to see that. I don't know. I might leave the back one done and just cover the top. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sorry. I'm using pink, Deanna. <laughs> but guess who's not using pink? Mm, no, nope. yeah, he's not using pink. That's there true. is pink on the dictionary words. So I guess I am using pink. I was going to do a little tutorial on these cute little button pins. Um, hello. Those are adorable. They really are. And I was thinking they'd be great to alter, but unfortunately my hands were too shaky this morning. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And they're, they're small. They are. They're adorable. These are in the store as well. And I think you get a set of 15 and all different colors and they're all the shabby colors. So. Are those new to the store? They're new. Yeah. Uh, and we got lots. I was going to say, I don't recall seeing those. Yes, ma'am. They are there. Huh. 
And I think maybe we'll do, maybe we'll put like this here so you could hang the tag. Cool. That might be good. That'd be good. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta fold this over without burning myself. Yes, I did it. Okay, now I have an important question. Did anybody watch Bridgerton, the second season of Bridgerton? No, man. No. I watched how many episodes of the first season when Chuck was out of town, working out of town. So I binge watched it one night. Yeah. And I don't remember how many episodes I got through, but I have not been back since. Well, here's the thing with Bridgerton. The writing is not the most, it's not the greatest. However, <laughs> like it's not Outlander. Let's just say that. It's not Outlander. It's not one of those like better shows that has good writing. Okay. Um, oh, you watched it, April? I'd be interested to know what you thought of it. Um, the second season I found to have a different feeling than the first. As in a better or. Mm. No, you're not digging mm. it. I don't understand. I mean, I'll watch a third season. I'm not going to lie because <laughs> it's, fl well, it's fluffy. Right. And then when you're in the mood for something that you don't really have to think about, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I would go to. Mm, when I want something fluffy that I don't have to think about, that's when I'm watching Seinfeld. Right. So, <laughs> but Seinfeld is kind of intelligent humor. No, um, man. It's, a show just, about nothing. it's a show about nothing. It's not, it's not the most intelligent show. That's just how I feel. Bridgerton? But, yeah, Bridgerton. I but think I Bridgerton would watch the third season because it's fluff. Right? It's kind of sexy, Bridgerton. I remember it being kind of sexy. It's a little. But I was disappointed that they didn't have the same guy. What? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, that's too bad. He's not on the show anymore. So basically the storyline in the second season was about her brother and him getting married. Oh. Which it's worth the fluff watch. If you're crafting and you want something on, that'd be the thing to put on. No, no. That's when you put on the great British baking show. Yeah, it's kind of like... For me, I would put on like Project Runway or something like that. All right, I just want to show you this real quick because I just love it. So yeah, I agree, April. It wasn't as good as the first, but I would watch the next season. I would just because I would because it's fluff. Because because uh, it's fluff. So I cut off about an inch and a half to two inches off of the bottom of the right. sandwich. I just sewed. And then I just glued it to this clip. So now I can decorate it however I want or not because it's too cute. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's just a little snippety clip. One of your little words on there would look nice though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a little word. Yes, I don't have a lot of time to watch TV either, Angie. So, you know. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of TV. Like, I don't, we don't even have a TV. We, we watch things on our computer. We don't have a oh, TV. Oh, we have a TV. That's not true. I meant we don't have cable or any of that kind of stuff. We don't have cable or anything. No, um, I don't. We watch things on our computer. And then if we both want to watch something, we hook the computer up to the main TV and watch it on the bigger screen. So, and there's a new Star Trek coming out, which Doug and I are very excited about that we'll both be watching together. Ooh. We're trying. You know, Chuck's been getting into the new Star Wars movies. I mean, Star Trek movies. Oh, yes. He could be a Trekkie and not a Star Wars. Listen, you don't have to be rude. Listen, I need to have a chat with him about that. <laughs> well, here's the thing is he did not like the original Star Trek. I know that hurt a little bit because it hurt me. Well, he it doesn't hurt me, because, but it might hurt Dougal. It hurts me. And it, it was so bad that he doesn't even know the characters. So when we're watching like the new remakes that I love, what? he doesn't he understand who the people are. And I'm like, what do you mean? 
He doesn't know Kirk and Spock? No. Or how can, he, how can he not know Kirk and Spock? And nobody else on the crew. Because I'm all excited going, doesn't he make a good so-and-so? And he's like, well, I wouldn't know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, disappointment. Okay, he needs to be forced to sit <laughs> on the couch and binge watch a season of Star Trek. Well, I made so them get mistake. people to pick out all the best episodes of the first star of the original series yes. and yes. put them on a disc. And then you have to make Chuck sit down and watch it. Well, the mistake that I made was we were on Netflix. Thank you, Sarah. And one of the old Star Wars, I mean, Star Trek movies came up as a suggestion. Now, I'm sure that you will agree with me that the Star Trek movies they made yeah. Yeah. were in no way as good as the show. Thank you. So I had him watch that. And now he's like, no, yeah, I remember this is lame. I don't like it. And I'm like, well, that's because this movie sucks. But <laughs> he not needs to watch like um, Voyager or Deep Space Nine or Next Generation. Next Generation was my favorite. I was there for that. Next Gen is great. And I'm a Voyager girl. And Doug loves Deep Space Nine because they got into the whole war with the Bajorans and it was it was good for him. I not so much. I'm a Voyager girl and a next gen girl. Those are my favorites. But he really is enjoying the new Star Trek movies. It just is frustrating for me when he doesn't know who the people are. Well, there's a brand new Star Trek coming out. Exciting. Called new Worlds or something. Uh, or something like that. I, I and I saw the trailer for it the other day. It looks amazing. Oh, good. Because he, he's into that. He'll watch that. Well, the thing is, it you have to be a Trekkie to understand some of the things that are going to happen. Because it's not with Captain Kirk. It's with Captain Pike, who was the original captain of the Enterprise. Right. I am showing my nerd big today. <laughs> And he got in a bad accident and became disabled and he couldn't be the captain anymore. And that's when Kirk took over. But right. the show is what happened if that didn't happen. And he just stayed as the captain. But Spock is in it and a bunch of other people. But it looks so good. The, the graphics are amazing. The ship looks good. It looks like the original Enterprise. It just looks so good. But I just really love the new Captain Kirk. Like, I love him. Yeah, Chris Pine. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's hot. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now, don't get it twisted, folks in the audience. I am a Star Wars fan. I oh. am a Star Wars Okay, because it fan. sounds more like you weren't there. I thought that it was leaning towards that, so I thought I'd better go ahead and make it clear. <laughs> <laughs> There's my tag. Okay, let me put it on you and let's see this thing in all its glory. <laughs> it's so cute. I love the dangly bits off of that bulb pen. Hello. Yes, it's a little fairy for my store and there's this little pearly thing. And a piece of quilting and some pretty pink lace and lots of layers of different laces. And my little snippety words. This beautiful button that somebody sent me. Might have been Jane Marge. It's so cute in one of the swaps we did. And then the back, I just kept it simple. I do use one of my little snippet hearts and then I put this up here so somebody could hang it. I love how you so. did the back too. I love it. You gotta do the back. Do you have to? Is that a thing? Yeah. It needs to look pretty. So now we're gonna go on to tag two. Um, yes to that. And these will both be in the shop. Uh, if anybody's interested. Yes. All right, I need some of your ribbon roses right now. I know I got a drawer full of those suckers somewhere around here. Miss drawer. I need to send you a package, Miss. Okay. Because you don't have any of that pink lace. Why don't I just go over to the shop and make myself at home and I'll let you know what I want, girl? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> All right, I am going to use one of these adorable in my shade of pink uh, ribbon roses from the shop. I did use pink, Deanna. I said I wasn't going to, and then I did. 
And this is going to be like pink and ivory, I think. But this lace is in the store. That's right. I don't have any of that. It's absolutely gorgeous lace. And it's more beautiful in person. Look at all the flowers you can cut. I know, right? Amazing. I do have a fair bit of it right now. But it is selling quickly, so if you're interested in that, I would get it. And because and it got, it's sold by the yard, and you can see there's so much on here. Right. In a yard, you're going to get a lot. This will last you a long time. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little flowers, and four big ones. That is really so, awesome. It's a beautiful lace. I was actually blown away when I opened it. Like I knew it was going to be nice, but I don't know. Seeing it in person, it kind of, you know, it's different. I have broken out the bling box without. Ooh, so we're going to use a little bit of that lace. Because I need some sparkle, girl. I need some sparkle. I'm very excited. I've done this one little tiny clip while you have a whole tag front and back. That is hilarious. Oh, well, you worked on your snippet roll. I did. And see, now I can just keep cutting bits off of it to make tags or little snippet clips or whatever. So let me show you how this turned out. Let me go. So hopefully I'm not blurry on YouTube. I feel like it's starting to get blurry. But here is the little clip I made. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this pink snippet is from one of Angel Dream Crafts laces. This is her flower. Some bling I got from my friend Dennis. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, that is good bling. I love it. I've had her. When did I go visit him? Two years ago? Oh, Lord. It seems longer. Well, maybe it is because yeah, that it's been two years, so... I guess we're going on years. September three years ago. Pretty ribbon. Yeah, so it's so cute. And it's just on the clip, so you can clip it to whatever you want. It's adorable. I love these little snippet clips. Okay. So we got that one. So now let's see. I think I will also make a tag. You've got me wanting to make a tag. So I'm just going to cut a piece off of the strip. I thought you were making tags, girl, because when we first talked, you were like, I'm going to make tags. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, I know. But then I decided I wanted to make like, um, I wanted to make it in such a way that you can put snippets on anything. Right? So because like you literally could take an old case. I wouldn't do it to my outer box because that was expensive but you know those cheap cases and you yep. could make a big old snippet thing and put it right on the back don't cover your camera though that's not cool but you cut out that section so mm -hmm. i'm going to use a lot of store laces on this one this one may not be so much snippets no no there'll be some okay some snippets are good Maybe soon. Maybe I should work on my snippet egg. This is another one that's new in the store. Those leaves. Okay, I am about that. Aren't they beautiful? Um, yes, please. And then of course I have the Amy lace, which is the double dangle. I just made a bag using that, but I'm gonna do a video on the bag instead of showing it right here because I you know that's my favorite lace. I know. I think I'm gonna call it the Amy lace in the store. Oh yes. And then I have this adorable little bunny lace. Okay, so cute. And then this beautiful pearl. It's an ivory color. I love that. Pearl one. and tulle. Yes. And then we have the beautiful polka dot tulle trim. I love this. And um, let's just call Dougal out for being Dougal. Yeah. Well, he's a guy. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the polka dot tool lace. What? And then this one is more beautiful. The photos do not do this lace justice in the store because it's so soft and so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so soft. I can't even tell you how soft that is. 
and the pearls are riveted so they don't fall off, which I prefer. Yes, me too. Yes, yes, yes to that. But it's so incredibly soft. I just love it. So, yeah. That's all new in this door. Love. Plus others. I don't understand how to make a snippet flower. I want to make one right now to put on my tag. Okay, we'll make one together then. Oh, yay! Goodness. So, do I need like a tiny doily for the base or just a piece of felt? How are we starting this? Um, yeah, you can start with a felt circle if you want. Um, I'm going to use one of these flowers. Okay, because I've got this. Can I use it for my base? Yeah. All right. Anything. And when I'm making these, like all these little bits of thread on the end, I would leave those on. So this one will be pink and white. All right. I'm going to stick with the neutrals over here. So this one might be one of yours, Lene. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically you just grab whatever snippets you've got. Like this is a piece of a very vintage doily. But yeah. it's got this, like, holy netting here, which I love. Right. Um, and tool is good. Tool looks great. Okay. Which I have tool that's going in the store. Uh, yes. Soon. So do I cut it in a certain manner, or what are, what are you doing? Well, I don't know how wide this is. Let's see. Um, this is, like, two inches. All right. I mean, I make circle-like shapes. But okay. They don't have to be circles. These square yeah. shapes. You see all these square shapes on my desk. Do I need yes. to round the corners? You can if you want. You don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. Don't make it harder than it needs to be, my dear. All right. Yes. I'm overthinking it because I'm a Virgo. And that's you are. What I'm so and I'm going to cut some of this cheesecloth because I like the way it looks. All right. And we'll take a little snippet of these leaves. Take a leaf. And thank and you for the 14 thumbs up. Nice. What happens if we get to 20? I don't know. I'm just going to be excited. I don't know. Okay. So um, I'm just gathering up a few little snippets, little bits and bobs that are on my desk. All right. So I feel like I'm, I've got bits and bobs. I mean, even little um, eyelash yarn, you know, yeah. would be good. Okay. Pieces of fabric. Like this pretty fabric, I would cut a little strip of that, maybe. Very skinny little strip. Skinny strip. It can be anything. Um, what else? We can use this last little piece of seam binding. Oh, here's some lace here. Piece of lace. We'll cut a piece off of there. And then for the top, I like to use something, like I might use this little flower that's on here. And then this kind of stuff, like this is no particular shape. It's, you would think this looks really ratty, but it's great for a snippet flower. Okay. Right? So just bits and bobs like that. So then what I do is I look at my pieces and I kind of start with the biggest ones. And I try, if I'm making like the pink and white and ivory, I'd probably like do alternate, like that's pink. So then I do white, like this piece here. I would kind of just put that on and kind of scrumple it up. Oh, you're scrumpling it up? Oh, I like that, okay. Well, yeah, because there's just, I mean, the messier they are, the nicer they look. Oh, right. Yes. Right? Yes. I like the so, scrumpling it up then. Let's do so that. So we're going to scrumple that. And you want kind of it to stick out over the edge. Right? Am I in the middle there? There we go. Let me, let me make you bigger while I find my finger protector so I don't burn myself. I don't have any, so hopefully I don't say a bad word. And then <laughs> next, because I've got the pink, the white, we're going to use the cheesecloth. So again, just a little bead of glue, and then you pop it down. And then next, I'll use white. So I'll and when I'm doing it, I'm kind of staggering it one way and then the other. 
So you have things coming out all different ways. So like this one, I would put across this way because the cheesecloth is going that way, right? Yeah. And then now I'll use this little piece of fabric going another way. Kind of maybe put it like that. Because again, it does not have to be straight. And then I've got this little piece of tool, well, lace, phone. Ah. <laughs> it's my hubby, so I'm going to mute for a minute. Okay. And then I've got this leaf. So we'll just put a bit of glue on that. And then I want a little bit more pink. So I'm just going to cut this because you're starting to get to the top now. So you want your pieces to be a little smaller when you're on your way to the top. Um, like that. And then this last piece, which is this, I'm just going to put on top. And that's going to be the piece that I put my little center on. Um, now, normally I use buttons or beads or whatever. You can do whatever. Now, you can sew these by hand if you want. Um, but I just found glue is, you know, it's faster and better. Now, um, I usually put um, a felt circle on the back because I just find for, it just cleans it up nicely. So let me just cut this. Actually, let me go back to YouTube because I'm on StreamYard and I can't see if anybody's asking any questions. I'm not sure which lace you're talking about, um, Lene. So I just put that on the back. It just finishes it off nicely. It makes it look a little bit more, but you don't have to. I mean, if it's just for myself, I don't, but, you know, it just finishes the back off nicely. So there you have a little snippet flower. And now we want to find a center, which can be anything. It can be a pearl. It could be a charm. It could be a ribbon rose. Oh, I have this pink. That might be too big. What do you think? No, that looks pretty. But I want to cut this loop off. So handy dandy cutters here. And I have these pink hearts in the store. This one has a silver back, but the ones in the store currently have a gold back. And you just put your glue down and there you go. And every snippet flower looks different, which is the kind of cool thing about it. So there you go. What do you think, guys? So I might put that on my tag now that I've made it. Although what time is it? Cause I have to leave at one. Got a half an hour. We can do it. We can do it. So that's my pretty flower. So I'm going to definitely put it on there. I think it'll be nice. Okay. So over to this sorry sorry about that that's okay okay so it's all good let's We're done. revisit the snippet flower because i didn't spread my stuff out enough and it's a itty bitty tiny thing yeah you want to kind of kitty corner them as you're going well i did but i just put them all to you see hold there. it up to the camera so i can see it thanks sarah yeah that looks fine well it's just so it's too small well, no, it's not. It's just a small snippet flower. You can still put a center in that, and it's good. Well, do you still have these in the shop? Speaking of centers. 
Hang on, let me get over to StreamYard because there's a lag. Uh, yes, yes, we still those would be perfect centers. Right, and it just looks gorgeous in there. Yeah, okay. they look like candy, the little pink sparkle oh, hearts, and I have yes. them in silver too. They're little sugar, little sugar hearts. I love them. I think well, I mean, Lene is a little bit behind. In the lag. Yeah, it's got a lag. I don't know. Oh, we have anyway, I'm going to use. Thanks, guys. Yeah, keep going. We want to get to 20. We do. That's our goal, 20. Well, 100's the goal, but let's be reasonable. <laughs> okay, this snippet flower looks adorable on this tag, though. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, they. Yeah, I was just saying that, too. I'm going to use mine on here. And I use the little heart from the store, the little rhinestone heart. But you can see they're easy to do. And you can use a doily for your base. I like to use something kind of solid like a doily or one of these flowers or something. Um, it just gives you a good base to start off. But other than that, everything is just the scraps on your desk. Little pieces that you might toss out in the garbage. And then you can always go back like this um, cheesecloth. Like you can just fluff that up and spread her out. Well... I want to thank you all for coming out today. I hope um, it's inspired your snippet game because that was the goal. And how yeah, easy it is to put snipper, snippets together and make something beautiful. That's what I love about snippets. And you can get um, bags of snippets over at Kim's shop, which her um, Etsy yeah. store is end right there for everybody. And, also and every bag of lace snippets comes with a handmade bag. They're so cute, y'all. So, so cute. But you can also order snippet flowers over there. This is one of her snippet yep. flowers, too. And don't forget to keep checking my channel for the uh, giveaway to celebrate the 6,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about. That'll be up sometime this month. I, that's all the details I have about that. <laughs> and we might go live on my channel at some point. At some point this month while I'm laid off. We might even do an art journal day, but I haven't committed to this. No, we don't have to do art journal. We can do anything. Okay. And my tags will be in the store in the next couple of days. This for one sure. will be for sure. And then I'll finish this one and put it in the store. I'm not making tags to sale, but I'm thinking I'm going to make some more snippet rolls, just the base like this. Mm -hmm. And I will have those available in the store. So then you can just cut them up and make whatever you want with them. Right. I'm thinking that might be a thing. Thank you so much. And um, you can find the link to my store below. And okay, we'll, Angie. Bye, Angie. We'll see you guys again soon, I hope. And I hope everybody is, is doing well and staying safe. Yes, that. All right. We'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Good to see you all.